research program is being trialled in the northeast to help stroke patients improve movement in their arms and hands. Rehabilitation robots are being used for repetitive exercises as well as to work out how much mobility and strength a patient has. The research has already been successfully trialled in the USA, offering hope to those on the long road to recovery. Katie Oakes reports. Nine years ago, Steve Hogg's wife was told to expect the worst. He'd had a stroke which left him unconscious. Three days I was out, um, at which point the doctor told my wife, um, he may not walk and he may not talk. Intensive physiotherapy and an operation has helped him regain speech and some movement. My arm was and is knackered. Anything that I could do on with my right hand, I do, do with my left hand. Steve's been advising doctors and scientists yeah. on trials of a robotic arm which could revolutionise rehabilitation. North Tyneside is one of four hospitals involved, with input from experts at Newcastle University. What we know in terms of rehabilitation is just how important repetition is, and with a robot, you can actually repeat a movement hundreds of times while doing a, an enjoyable task. 700 patients in the northeast will sit down in front of this machine for a three-month course, which assesses and matches their mobility and gets the upper body moving again. We know that after a stroke, 80% of people are able to walk again, but unfortunately only 20% of people regain full use of their arms. So it's really important that we develop new types of therapies that can help people recover the movement of their arm. It, it is hope. It's hope that they have not got what I've got, and that's one hand. Two hands is essential. More than 100,000 people in the UK have a stroke every year. More funding, research and now robots are improving the chances of a full recovery. Katie Oakes, ITV News.